Hello, reformers, and welcome back to a special feature of Cal Radio 1417. Now, before you say anything in the comments, I know, I know, the mod has been updated, and the mod creator has apparently heard the cries of anguish from all over, and has decided to change the font. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what the new font looks like, or anything like that, because obviously... I would have to restart my entire game to be able to see it because it's not save game compatible, unfortunately. Don't know why that is, but well, there were a number of other fixes and, and improvements and changes as well. And apparently, the mod creator has improved the strength of the Kurgit Carnate, and that kind of makes me a little bit intrigued. And, uh, you know, maybe it would be something to check out at some point. Anyway. As we can see here, we do have a small skirmish between Jarl Iria and Boyar Rudin, and we're going to try and help out the Boyar here, and hopefully take a couple of those Nord footmen prisoner, because we do have a task to do that, and it would be nice for us to complete it. And uh, I think, isn't it from Boyar Harish that actually uh, gave us that? Because obviously we want to try and appease him as much as possible, to try and get him to agree to some sort of some sort of marriage proposal because he apparently has a bunch of other women interested, which I I don't personally I I don't personally believe that. Let's face it, he's uh, he's probably quite a quite a quite a uh, shall we say not not even a not even a playboy really, but just kind of like uh, he, I don't know maybe he's just I don't know maybe he just kind of wants us to do some work for him, I don't know. But, <laughs> whatever the case, I don't want my horse to die here, please. I do not want my horse to die here, that would be ill-advised. And now I've taken so much damage with it, I'm not really going to be able to do much, unfortunately. I am going to tell my people to charge in here to hopefully help out the Vagiers. We have 13 cavalry on the battlefield at the moment. That's going to make so much difference in how we're able to, you know, win the day here. But unfortunately, it is going to make things much harder for me in regards to capturing the various Nord units that I actually need for the quest. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get off. Don't don't kill my... Uh, you. You scoundrel. Yes, he actually killed my horse. That was that was not very nice of him, I've got to say. But I guess... That's the thing. I guess I did park my horse in a pretty bad place. So I probably should drive it into a much better area. <laughs> and I realize. I realize we're using car terms here, but still. Point is. Anyway, let's go continue. Oh, can, I, can I kill this guy? Maybe. I would like to be able to. Oh, nice. That was a nice block by by him, wasn't it? That was a very, very nice block. Unfortunately, it's not going to be good enough. No, it's not going to be good enough. Let's see if I can do something here. I am just thankful that the enemies do seem to be relatively simple to eliminate, but I'm, I'm very surprised. How am I not seeing any Nord footmen here? I'm not seeing any Nord footmen whatsoever. I, I don't know where they are. Oh, there, there, there's a Nord trained footman, but I'm basically eliminating Nord veterans most of the time. And uh, that's kind of weird. I would not have expected that at all to see so many of these guys. Oh, here we go, here we go. They might actually be sending in some of their... Yes, Nord footman, Nord footman. Okay, uh, maybe if I can get a couple more kills, that would be good. Okay, I think, is this a footman? Am I, am I stalking the right guy? Yes, that is a Nord footman. Okay, fantastic. I need one more. I need one more to complete the task. Let's see if I'm up to the challenge. That, I, that's a Nord Footman right there. That is a Nord Footman. I need to kill him. I need to get him. Oh, Vagia! No! Okay. Well, it seems like that Vagia veteran decided to uh, steal my kill. Let's face it, it was a kill steal. Yeah, it wasn't. He just got there first, obviously. Anyway, let's see if I can maybe get a get a Nord Footman from somewhere else. If we if we don't get a Nord Footman from here, then I'm going to have to do a little bit of hunting for another vassal that we could potentially win against. And this this particular fight is actually going to give us a very good amount of experience as well. So uh, I'm hoping that we'll actually be getting a whole bunch of extra Swadian horsemen and knights as well. I actually do have a couple of knights. I have two knights actually now. And uh, that's very, very good in my opinion. Hopefully we'll be able to get a couple more as time goes on. But uh, that seems to be it. That seems to be it. There's only one enemy remaining. 
And uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if one of my other units was actually capable of knocking a Nord Footman unconscious. I know firsthand that we were able to eliminate two. And of course, because we're using a blunt weapon, we were able to uh, knock him unconscious. Let's see whether we get the opportunity to even take someone prisoner but anyway there we go your help was most welcome stranger my name is Boyar Rudin can I learn yours uh person are you uh are you married is he he is not oh but he's he's only the lord of two villages now here's the thing the main reason why I'm doing that is not because I want to profit from the castle in any way I just want to have a garrison and have access to that garrison. If I have access to that garrison, I can place my own units there. I can take out units. I can do basically anything I want in regards to that garrison. And that's exactly the reason why I want to do that. Mm, I may, maybe there's going to be uh, someone else around here. Ah, this guy. There we go. Boya Taisa. Ta Taisa? Taisa? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, he, he's actually the cousin of this guy that we just saved. So I guess that's pretty good. He has Dramug Castle. Hmm. Well, whatever the case, if Boyar Harish is a bit too stubborn, then I think we know where we're going next. Anyway, let's have a look and see. Uh, Nord Footman. No. Okay. We don't have enough. Uh, that is. Uh, that's pretty bad. Oh, well. Never mind. We do get a pretty decent amount of prisoners there, and that's going to result in a lot of money. So I'm pretty happy with that, and we can also equip ourselves with some better armor, or at least slightly better armor. We did get some arrows, and what about this this shield here? 21 resistance is basically the same thing. Don't really want that. Let's put my helmet back in there, and the arrows as well, and then we'll let our heroes select from that. There we go, we'll just take the rest. There we are. All right, fantastic. That's pretty good. Okay, so we helped him out pretty nicely, I gotta say. And uh, let's level up a couple more of our people here. And you can see here, five more horsemen, two more Swadian knights. You can see here, I have four Swadian knights now. Pretty, pretty good. And uh, they are going to be uh, very, very nice on the fields of battle. I mean, as you saw there, they were doing a lot of work for us. And uh, hmm, I'm not even sure what, what I should really be specking this guy into now. We should probably start just giving him some crossbow skill, I guess, because that is going to help him to gain extra levels and everything. I actually don't even have that much in the way of money right now. I really don't. I don't have that much money. So I guess what we will do oh, is Borislav. Borislav is apparently a mercenary leader. Thankfully, he is neutral with us, so we don't have to worry about him. But anyway... Let's go over to, uh, I guess we'll go over to Rivercheg and we'll see whether we can, oh yes, reporting to the to the marshal, I did not do that of course, but let's have a look. Boyar Harish, yeah, three Nord footmen, so we need three Nord footmen, we only have two, so if I can find a ransom broker, then I will be able to be a little bit quicker on the world map, and I will also not sell the uh, the people that I actually need, and we will just sell the ones that we don't and hopefully make a little bit of cash in the process. Uh, yeah, it seems like it's going to take me a bit of time to find the appropriate NPC. All right, so I found a ransom broker in Curor here, and uh, hopefully he is going to be able to... I, I've got to be very, very careful not to press on this sell-all button, because that's, that's not going to be good. So let's sell all of these. We had, what, I think about 88 or something along those lines money, so let's have a look at how much we're actually going to make from this. Make sure not to sell the Nord Footman. Thank you very much. That would be an ab absolute catastrophe, but thankfully... Wow, we're making a lot of money right there. Look at that. That's basically that's basically 3,200 right there. Thankfully, my spirited Corsa is still spirited, so we are still moving very, very quickly on the battlefield, and I'm going to actually sell all of this stuff because apparently no one wants it from my companions, and we will be buying a little bit of grain and some bread just to make sure that we have enough food. All right, so I have come across another Nord vassal, and hopefully we will be able to take him out for that Nord footman. He only has 64, so 
I think it's doable. I think it's doable, but obviously it really depends on many, many factors. I don't know what his composition is like. I don't know whether he has any Nord Huskarls or anything like that. But isn't this the guy that we actually just defeated? Because he seems to have gotten on his feet very, very quickly. So I don't think that he is. We have 51 each on the battlefield at the moment. And, uh, well, I have a lot of cavalry. I have 29 now. 29 cavalry? I guess that's all the mercenary horsemen and everything that have uh, leveled up and everything. Oh, well, that's kind of amazing. Anyway, uh, I actually don't know whether we should just charge straight on in then, because 29 cavalry is pretty significant. And uh, to have such a massive advantage is going to be very, very good for us. You know what? We're not going to do that. We're not going to throw all caution to the wind. Not just yet, at least. What we're going to do is we're going to take our cavalry around the side and we're going to try and do a little bit of a flanking action going on here. And otherwise, we're going to keep our infantry as a slight distraction. Just, uh, you know, just a little bit going in there. Do bear in mind that obviously our infantry are very useful as well because they do level up into cavalry. So keeping those guys alive as much as we can is definitely a priority, but for the moment I'm going to just try a little bit of a tactic here because obviously these guys, they are capable of a lot of damage and we really want to be careful of that. So let's see if I can do something here. Maybe just a little bit of a little bit of interference. Oh, there's an archer. Oh, why are the archers running in in melee? I don't know why they're running in in melee. That, that, that doesn't really make sense to me, but oh well, never mind. I, I mean, I'm not him, so I'm not going to tell him what to do, but... Anyway, let's see if we can find the uh, dreaded footman, wherever that is. Where's the Where's the footman? I don't know where any of the footmen are. They might not have spawned in, actually, yet to the battlefield, maybe. I, I might be... Oh, is that one? Is that one right there? It might be. It might be one. That would be really, really nice for us to... No, oh, no, it's a trained one. Ugh. Yes, a trained footman. The only time that we are wanting a low-tier unit to take prisoner. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, well, maybe his next reinforcement wave will actually give us what we seek. That would be nice, because we seem to be mostly, well, knocking Nord Warriors unconscious at the moment. So, yeah, Nord Warriors are obviously pretty fantastic for cost. So that would be pretty cool, but uh, yeah, I, I do need that one extra footman, and it seems like our people are not really able to knock any of them unconscious. It, oh, that's a trained one. I really thought that was not. Oh, that's a recruit. Okay, I just need one step up. Thank you very much. Just one step up, game. It would be ki kind of nice. I have no idea where these footmen are. They seem to be extremely difficult to find. Yeah, it, that's one, isn't it? Is that one that is just about to get killed? Is it right here? Maybe? <laughs> Am I able to... Oh, I did 13 damage. Wouldn't it be amusing if he gets killed now? He is going to get killed, but it, it, by who? That's the thing. Nope, that was just a trained one as well. Right, so does this guy not have any footmen? Because I, I don't think I've seen any footmen in the, in the, in the, in the kill log. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, but... Okay. No, apparently he doesn't. Very strange. Okay, well, I guess we will be uh, looking at the, the prisoner's screen in a second. All right, so I thought we'd start on the casualty screen literally just because I wanted to show you exactly what happened and what we ended up losing. So as you can see, we actually lost a couple of horsemen pretty uh, pretty bad but it's only two so it's not a not a big deal. And what did the enemy lose? Well, actually quite a lot including a couple of footmen, and I, I for some reason did not see these guys. I have no idea why, but I didn't. So hopefully we will be able to take them prisoner. Yes, we will. There's four of them. That's exactly what we... Well, we needed... <laughs> we only needed three, but... Well, I'll take it. I'll take it. No problem at all there. Thanks very much. Anyway, there you go. And that means that we will be able to go over to Boyar Harish with a new set of armor, no less. Very nice indeed. Actually, you know what? Should I take this instead? Uh, that's actually not as good, even though it looks a bit better. But I, I guess we'll just leave that for our companions for the moment. And we'll see what they like. They will take that. Okay, so did they actually take all of that? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh well, never mind. 
Alright, so I was attempting to ascertain the location of Boya Harish. Obviously, he's gonna be on the uh, on the campaign trail, so to speak. And uh, thankfully, I was able to find him at Sungetcha Castle. And he seems to be in a siege as we are uh, approaching. So let's join the next assault and actually see whether we can help out a little bit here. I do have a bow, bear that in mind. I do actually have a bow and it might make sense for us to use it. Now bear in mind that these guys that we are up against right here, they are Kurgits and they are gonna be, well, I'm not gonna say, you know, I'm not gonna be too arrogant about this, but they're gonna be pretty easy for us to kill or at least I hope so, because that will then mean that we would get a little bit of experience. Uh, I, one thing I gotta say, the, the crosshair is extremely difficult to see. I don't know whether you can see it. Can you see it? Can you see that right there? Yeah, it's very, very difficult to see, especially when you're trying to fire an arrow. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's obviously a bit of an issue, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna be able to kill this guy. There we go. That was a, a whoa, that was a veteran horse archer? I was not. I was not aware. I was not aware. I thought, oh, he's going to be, you know, just a regular, regular standard unit. But no, we're actually up against the elite right here. There's a headshot for us. Wow, this is, I got to say, this is actually really hard to, uh, to shoot when you can barely see the crosshair. I guess, uh, oh, there we go. Nice headshot. Okay. So technically what I could do is I could go up this ladder right here and I could see what I could do like that. But um, personally... <laughs> I think that's probably a death sentence. I mean, I could. Can I actually tell people to follow me right now? That would make things much, much easier for us. Whoa, there's a lot of people up here. All right, all right. Careful, careful. Let's make sure that we're not uh, we're not being a bit a bit too overzealous. Oh yeah, thanks for the shot in the face, person, whoever you are. Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage right there. Are you serious right now? Look at this. I'm getting shot in the face. Well, not in the face, but... Well, don't really want to get shot at all, thanks. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, well, at, at the very least, we are going to be going up against this guy, whoever that is, and hopefully taking our revenge upon him. Yeah, take that horse archer. God, the horse archers. They're very, very annoying, aren't they? Well... They're even annoying in the sieges. They're mostly annoying on the, on the fields, but, you know, they do seem to be trying my patience here. However, it seems like Boyar Harish and Raucher and Naldera and all these guys, they're actually getting a huge amount of kills right here, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty impressed by that. And uh, it kind of makes me think, hey, Boyar Harish, do you want to actually, you know, impress us? Because... You know, getting a couple more kills might actually do that, but uh, yeah, well, whatever the case, I don't really care about that. Anyway, let's see if we can maybe do a little bit of extra damage here. Unfortunately, these arrows embedded in me are making things a bit difficult because I can not really see that well, considering the the whole crosshair issue. I'm actually wondering whether that's been changed in the uh, in the in the new patch because if it has, that's great. But if it hasn't, then, you know, it might be something to look at because right now, I mean, yes, it's, you know, it's a little bit more realistic, but then there's no point having a crosshair to begin with, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's uh, that's my thoughts on it, at least. I'd, I'd much prefer something that's a little bit easier to use or none, you know, and I guess uh, that would be a little bit too hardcore because you wouldn't be able to see anything, basically. Now, bear in mind that the uh, time that I came in here to this siege, we were outnumbering them significantly. The Vagiers are basically just stomping on the Kurgits in this particular garrison. And you know what I want to do? I want to do a little bit of a crowd surf. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, no, that was more like a that was more like a crowd step, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just a crowd step because I was just like, oh yeah, uh, let me go down one step, one step, and one step. Yeah, that's that's how it goes. Maybe I can take this guy out. There we go. Yes, I, I have no idea what these guys would have done if I wasn't here, because they're just going to stand there staring at him in the corner, and that would have been very embarrassing for them. You know, can you imagine Boyar Harish going to the liege and being like, I'm so sorry, Prince Yaroglek, I couldn't kill the last enemy, and he defeated us all by standing in the corner. Yes, that would have been 
pretty bad. Wow. Boyan Aldera went on an absolute killing spree. Look at that. 16 kills. That's pretty amazing. Wow. All right. Well, good work on him. Good work on him. All right. So let's have a look and see where Boyar Harish actually is in this insane amount of people. There he is. All right. Hello. Oh, there we go. We actually gained some relation with him because we uh, took the castle together, technically, kind of. Anyway, let's see. About the task you gave me. I have brought you three Nord Footmen as prisoner. Uh, 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 oh, there we go. We gained five. Five relation. Is that it? What about a little bit more? Are you proposing? Yes, that is my proposal. There are other maidens who have captured my heart. Are you serious? That doesn't... It doesn't say. It doesn't say that's the case. Oh, well, it just means that we need more relation with him. So, let's do another task. N no? Okay, well, who do you think should receive this? Because I'm going to support the same guy that you support. Uh, that's not going to work. Yeah, maybe I have to be a vassal for that to uh, actually work. But if I do become a vassal, then he's going to be unlikely to give me any tasks. And that's the main problem there. Right. Well, maybe I can speak to this fellow, and uh, we can say this, and we can get a little bit of relation. And, ah. I was inspecting my soldiers. Will you train some troops for me? Right. <laughs> oh, are you serious? He needs seven Vagia knights. Sure. Why not? Give me a hundred dinars to do that. That is... Ugh. Yes. They grind my gears when they do that kind of thing because they're like, okay, so give me seven Vagia Knights, the hardest unit for you to train, and I'll give you a hundred dinars to start you off. I mean, obviously that is to recruit the, the volunteers initially, but I feel like that's kind of funny anyway. Ah, uh, well, never mind. Okay, so let's just get another Swadian Knight right there. And I do have a number of prisoners, of course, so we'll be able to sell those. And I'm actually going to see who this guy is. Oh, he's the Lord of Curor. Of course, he's going to have... Yes, he's going to have a wife, of course. Uh, yeah, he's a beast. He is an absolute beast. He does really, really well. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do a task for him or anything like that. So we're going to continue to try and do tasks for Boya Harish, but unfortunately, he's not giving me any. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do about that. Maybe I can just spam click? No, spam clicking is not working whatsoever, so it seems like we will have to uh, just leave it. Yeah, we'll have to just leave that. What about... Uh, <laughs> no? Alright, so yeah, seems like I will have to do something a little bit different. Maybe I'll do a little bit of off-screen or something like that, but for now, that will be it. If you'd like me to update and uh, you know play with a different character, or at the very least with a different goal in mind, maybe with a different faction or something like that, then by all means let me know. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.